Well, it used to be that as General Motors goes, so goes the U.S. economy. My Morning Must Read argues that that's more true for Walmart these days. Walmart's February comparable sales were likely a little changed because of the payroll tax increase and also higher grocery prices, higher gas prices. So Rich Carlgaard, the publisher of Forbes, writes in the Wall Street Journal today that if higher gas prices and lower income levels represent a new normal, consumer spending is in trouble and with it the fortunes of both Walmart and the U.S. economy at large. He poses the question, does Walmart's soggy February, soggy first quarter mm -hmm. signal another recession? Bert Flickinger with us, our guest host this hour in retail. Do you agree? I do not agree because Walmart's been uh, sabotaging itself to raise the dividend, cutting costs, cutting working capital. Uh, cutting staff in Costco, Winco, Kroger, CVS, Target, all doing extremely well. So the well-run retailers are s still increasing same-store sales, uh, still getting better margins. You think Walmart's uh, stumbling a little bit? Stumbling. Uh, Mr. Sam had the uh, twin uh, prop turbojet. Uh, Rob Walton, the chairman, has the best Gulfstream money can buy. Uh, the execs aren't spending the time in the stores, and the shoppers are seeing it and shifting. Bert, you're vicious. Can you be any meaner? <laughs> Word. <laughs> My morning must read is about Marissa Meyer, the CEO of Yahoo. She was seen as a role model for women when she came over and took over Yahoo. There's a little bit of outrage going on right now about her latest decision to tell people to not work from home, have to be at the office. Here's Maureen Dowd uh, in the New York Times. Many women were appalled at the Yahoo News, noting that Meyer seems oblivious to the fact that for many of her less privileged sisters with young children, telecommuting is a lifeline to manageable life, especially with her $117 million five-year contract and penthouse above the Four Seasons in San Francisco. Also, mommy bloggers, according to Business Insider, are very upset about this as well.